But ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or ask the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Speak to the earth, and it will teach you. Every one of these knows that the hand of the Lord has done this. Look at this river. It's the North Platte River. It runs 716 miles, all the way from the mountains of Colorado, up through Wyoming, and then down through Nebraska, until it flows into the Platte River, which flows into the Missouri River, which flows into the Mississippi River, which flows into the Gulf of Mexico. I wonder what types of things we could find in the North Platte River. Along the edge of the river, I see rocks and dirt, some sticks and leaves. And what are those things that are moving? They're not fish. Can you tell what they are? They live all over North America. So if you've ever played in a river, chances are you've seen one. They're crayfish. Some people call them crawdads. They can be yellow, green, red, brown, and even blue. Their head has a sharp snout and their eyes are on movable stalks. They have ten legs, and the front two legs have pinchers. Be careful if you pick one up. Look at all the crayfish. There's a lot of crayfish in this river. Crayfish don't like pollution, so this must be a clean river. There's a big one. You can see the antenna on his head. He uses those to touch and feel, but also for balance and to taste. As we walk through the water again, you can see them all swim away. Do you notice something about the way that they swim? Yes! Crayfish swim backwards. They snap their very strong rear tail and are quickly nowhere to be found. Let's slow down the video and see if we can see them swimming backwards. Did you see that one? There's another. They're using their tails to propel them backwards. Let's see if we can find one a little closer up. There it goes. There's a crayfish sitting on a rock at the bottom of the river. There it goes, swimming backwards. Here's another crayfish, a bigger one. Watch it as it uses its tail to pull it away from us. So where are crayfish running away so quickly too? This one's hiding under a rock. Crayfish feel safe when they're hiding under rocks. You can hardly see these two crayfish. They're tucked in close under the rock. Did you know that God can be our hiding place when we're scared or we have troubles? David wrote in the Bible, You, God, are my hiding place. You protect me from troubles. I'm so glad that I have a place to go when I'm scared or in trouble. I can run to my hiding place as fast as the crayfish. I can run to God.